Oh, hey, America, it's me, Dead Abe Lincoln, and you just got screwed. Because you have to choose between a corrupt president or a crazy president. Like a two-horse race where one horse cheats and the other one eats Muslims. But don't blame the horses. Blame the two-party system. See, here's your problem. The two big parties gave you zero good choices. There's Hillary, who's like a Monopoly player using her get-out-of-jail-free card, then a rigging election card and make millions on political favors card. And Trump, who's like if your racist uncle got drunk and ran for president, then the nation got drunk and said, that guy should have nuclear bombs. Now two-thirds of Americans would vote for anyone else, because everything wrong with politics is wrong with Hillary, and everything wrong with the KKK is wrong with Trump. Which I know, because he was endorsed by the KKK. <laughs> Shoot me. But you can't vote third party, because for Republicans, that's a vote for Hillary, and for Democrats, it's a vote for Trump. So you stick with the candidate you don't like to stop the one you hate, splitting the nation in two. <laughs> but what do I know about that? Look, if America is Gotham City, then Hillary is the mob and Trump is the Joker. The mob's always there. It's corrupt, but at least you know what you're getting. The Joker just got here. He's creating total chaos, and you don't know what he'll do next, but you know it's going to be hell. America? Picking between the Joker and the mob is not a real choice. It's time to vote for freaking Batman. Gary Johnson is the only candidate who can beat Trump and Hillary. He doesn't just have a better platform. He has the Balanced Rebellion. The Balanced Rebellion is a movement that gives a third party an actual chance. At balancedrebellion.com, if you decide to vote for Johnson, we'll match you with someone from the opposite party to balance out your vote. Meaning, if you're a Florida Democrat who hates Trump and Hillary, we match you with the Florida Republican who hates Trump and Hillary. If you both vote Johnson, neither Trump nor Hillary gets an advantage. Only America. Yes, balancedrebellion.com is a real site. You can really match with someone as disappointed as you are. It's like Tinder, but not gross, and it can save America. Now you may be saying, voting third parties wasting my vote. Well, did America waste its vote on a frickin' Lincoln? That's right, I was third party, racists. And once again, a third party can actually win for three reasons. One. The internet is more powerful than ever. 1.7 billion people are on Facebook alone, so balanced rebellion can actually work. Two, Johnson is a balanced candidate, winning votes from both parties. He was a popular Republican governor in a Democrat state. And if he goes up slightly in the polls, he'll be in the debates, which will be a huge game changer, especially because he's up against unbalanced spending and an unbalanced mind. And three, again, two thirds of Americans would vote for anyone besides Trump and Hillary. And since Johnson's on the ballot in all 50 states, the third party has an actual shot. The only shot I had was at Ford Theater. <laughs> Too soon? So if you're sick of this crap and still believe in democracy, go to balancedrebellion.com to learn more about Gary Johnson and join the movement. Now, what about the issues? The economy. Hillary needs a NASCAR jacket to show her corporate sponsors. She's a giant, cuddly panda bear. Trump's business failures include Trump Airlines, Trump Mortgage, Trump University, Trump Stakes, Trump Vodka, Trump Ice, Trump Magazine, Trump New Media, The Trump Network, Trump on the Ocean, Tour to Trump, and Trump the Board Game, which is apparently a game where you suck at business, name things after yourself, then become the president. But when Johnson was governor of New Mexico, he cut taxes 14 times and still left the state with a billion dollar surplus, new highways, bridges, schools, and hospitals. And that surplus would be even bigger if Walter White paid taxes. National defense. Trump and Hillary are both pro-war. Hillary's policies are the same as Dick Cheney's, except Cheney supported gay marriage sooner. She supported the Iraq invasion, Patriot Act, and disastrous Libya intervention. Whereas Trump wants to stop terrorists by killing their families and openly praises Putin and Saddam Hussein. So you can choose the lady who helped create ISIS or the guy who talks like he's in ISIS. Or you can vote Johnson, who is the most popular candidate with our troops, because he wants to end the wars and spend that money making things better back at home. Look, America, what do you believe? That you can do anything in this country if you buy off the right people? That you can fix this country with a $20 billion wall in case Mexico doesn't know what ladders are? Or do you believe your government should trust you and not spy on you, not send you to be killed overseas, not tell you who to marry, how to practice your religion, or where to spend your dollars? That's what Johnson believes. And if you don't agree with all his policies, ask yourself, is he better than Hillary? Is he better than Trump? I'm no libertarian, but even I'm voting Johnson. He's the president America needs right now. So go to balancedrebellion.com and start taking back your country from the two parties who think they own you. We'll see you in November. Thank you.